Hello friends! As promised in the last video, today we will cover how to read from and write to memory from within our own C++ application. This requires one or more base addresses. How to get those was topic of the last video. A base address can start from the game's exe or some DLL or, and that's the least preferred option, a thread stack. Some of you may have noticed that the pointer I found in the last video does indeed start at thread stack 0. While it is possible to work with that, I suggest avoiding it. If you want me to cover how to work with thread stack pointers, please leave a comment. If enough of you guys want me to, I will make a separate video about how to handle thread stack pointers. For the purpose of this video, I went back to Cheat Engine and found a pointer which starts at the process base address and points to the address where our current score is stored. If your pointer starts at some DLL, don't worry, the method I present here works in that case as well. One more thing before we get started, I try to focus on things which are worth remembering. Alright, now let's go. The two functions we are interested in are read process memory and the write process memory. Those functions require a process handle and the memory address. First the process handle we get with the function open process. You may wonder what is a handle. It's basically a ID of something, in this case a process, which has also writes attached to it. Open process requires a process ID. We get the process ID with get window thread process ID, which itself requires a window handle. We get the window handle with find window. Wonderful. The only other thing we need is a memory address or pointer which we want to read from and or write to. So let's take another look at the pointer we found with cheat engine. As you can see the pointer starts at sumo.exe. So first thing we need is the memory address of the application. As said before, we can find this address the same way we can find the address of any DLL used by the process. Let me present you the solution and explain what it does. I should mention that I didn't come up with this function myself. I basically ripped it from the other rune, who himself gives credit to Fleep. In the function getModuleBaseAddress, we take a snapshot of all the modules within our target process and then iterate through those modules and look for the one with the name sumo.exe. Since both the exe and the dll are modules within our process, this same function works when looking for a dll address. Now that we have this address, let's see what else we have to do in order to get the address we want. The basic idea is as follows. Number 1. Start at the entry point, which in this case is the address of the exe. Number 2. Add some value to the entry point. Number 3. Go to that address and take the value which is stored there. This value is again an address, which we call base address. Number 4. Add the first offset to the base address. Look what's stored at that resulting address. You guessed it, another address. Number 5. Add the offsets one by one to the most recent address to find the next address. We call the first value which we add to the address of the exe offset game to base address. We can store all the offsets into one vector. Now we read with read process memory what is stored at the location of the exe plus added value and store it into base address. Starting at this base we have to go through all the offsets. Since we have those stored in a vector we can loop through them. The address we are really interested in is the address where our current points are stored. So let's call that address points address and initially set it to the base address. Then update it to the new address as we go through the offsets. But careful, after adding the last offset we don't want to store that value into our pointer since the last location does not contain an address, instead it contains the value we wish to read from or write to. Alright, that was already the hard part. Now we can code a simple UI. The only thing worth mentioning here is the write process memory function. When we press numpad1, we are asked to input a score. This score is then written into memory at the address we just found. Great success! Nice. Next time we will probably take a look at in-game functions and how to call them. If you have suggestions on what I should cover, please do let me know in the comments. 
But for now, I hope you got something out of this video. Please do give me some feedback, consider subscribing if you would like to see more and I will talk to you again in the next video.